Jones still out nursing that ankle injury he suffered week three. Bailey Zappi stepped up in this game against the Detroit Lions, giving the Detroit Lions a loss by a score of 29 to nothing in a shutout game, Red Patriot throwback game. What's going on everybody? It's your man Patriot Dreams in the place to be. Week 6 of the Patriot Rundown Weekly on PDTN, the Patriot Dreams Television Network. Welcome back everybody. Now we're into week 6. The New England Patriots have to go to the dog pound to face off against Jacoby Brissett and the Cleveland Browns at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio for week 6. Now, Jacoby Brissett gets to start because starting quarterback Deshaun Watson is suspended for 11 games for the season. He'll be back in December, but nevertheless, Jacoby Brissett is the guy. Now, he used to play for the Patriots when he started, when he got drafted. Belichick knows him well, but we have to see what happens. What plan does Bill Belichick have for Jacoby Brissett, the quarterback of the Browns? So we have to see what's going on there. And plus, during this game, week 5 for the Patriots against the Lions, Bailey Zappi dominated, you know, he threw for a touchdown to Jacoby Myers at the end zone. So it was pretty, it was pretty awesome. So we're just going to have to see what's going to happen to this Patriots team. Can they dominate week 6? We're just going to have to wait and see. They're a down on running back since Damian Harris got injured during this game with the hamstring. Could miss some time. Well, Mondre Stevenson stepped up. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. All right, everybody. Let me get through the lineups here, and then I'm going to bring in my color analyst, my color commentator for this Patriots Rundown Weekly. All right. Mac Jones could start this game if he's better. If not, it's Bailey Zappi. Running backs. Ramondre Stevenson will get most of the carries this game. Damian Harris is going to miss some time. We could see P.S. Jones Jr. and Kevin Harris on the roster sheet for the running backs. Wide receivers for the Patriots, Nelson Aguilar, Kendrick Bourne, Jacoby Myers, Devontae Parker, and Tyquan Thornton, who just came back from injury last week. Your tight ends are Hunter Henry and John Smith. Defensively, Christian Bormore, Kyle Davis, Devon Karchuk, Lawrence guy is still injured, so we're going to see a lot of Dietrich Swartz Jr. as well. They're going to have to sack up Jacoby Bissett, give him a bunch of looks. Linebackers, Jawan Bentley, Matthew Judon, Will Kwame McMillan, they're going to have to sack up Jacoby Bissett, give him a lot of looks as well. Secondary, Jack Jones, Jonathan Jones, Marcus Jones, Devin McCourty, Jalen Mills, they're going to have to intercept the ball from the right receivers. Special teams, Jake Bailey's the punter, Joe Cardona's the long snapper, Nick Folk will be your kicker. Now let's get to the Cleveland Browns starting lineup here. Give me a moment here as I pull that up. All right. Starting quarterback will be Jacoby Brissett, the expatriate. Running backs are Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, they're good backs. Wide receivers are Mari Cooper. Donovan Peoples-Jones. We're going to have to see what they're going to do if they can score touchdowns. Tight ends. David Nojoku is the tight end for the Cleveland Browns. Defensively, you got J Davian Crowney, Miles Garrett. They're going to have to sack up Bailey Zappi or Mac Jones in the pocket. Linebackers, we got Tony Fields and Jacob Phillips. They're going to have to sack up the quarterback in this game. Secondary, you got Denzel Ward, Greg Newsom, and A.J. Green. They're going to have to intercept the ball from the Patriots wide receivers. Special teams, Corey Bocas is the punter. Charlie Huguet is the long snapper. K. Jork is the kicker. The final score on this game on Sunday from, from First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio, which is a tough game. I don't know how this is going to end up. We have to see for week six. Kevin Holland, Trent Green, Melvin Collins will have the call on CBS. I'm going to say the Patriots pull this one out by a score of 23-10. to 10. I'm just saying the Browns ain't got nothing on the Patriots. Patriots will go. Alright, y'all. 
I'm gonna bring my call analyst in to finish this off in our next segment. We are back with the second half of the video. Joining me is the analyst up here, Janet Dandy, who follows the Patriots inside and out. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. I'm ready for this weekend, I think. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, this is a tough game because it's Cleveland, a team that the Patriots know very well. But in the circumstances that the starting quarterback, Deshaun Watson, is suspended for 11 games, which means Jacoby Bissett has been leading that team for the last couple of weeks. He is a ex-Patriot that has played with the Patriots before when he started, when he got drafted. So he knows Bill Belichick uh -huh. and that offense very well. So Belichick's going to have to be very careful in this predicament. He does not want to get beaten up by a third quarterback who has played with the Patriots. Belichick got beat up by two former quarterbacks. Tom Brady being one of them, Jimmy Garoppolo being the other one. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead. Brissett definitely knows the Patriots defense. He is not having a super good year, though. He's, like, maybe average at best. He's somewhere in the middle. Um, he threw, like, three interceptions uh, to five touchdowns. So, like, I don't know. I don't worry about him as much as I worry about um, their uh, Amari Cooper and Chubb. We got to contain them somehow. I mean, the thing is, JD, I mean, the, the Patriots are down to their third string QB right now, which is not a good sight at this time because you got Mac Jones still nursing that ankle injury, which he's recovering, but I would not put him out here for this game. Maybe for week seven against Justin Fields, he should be ready to go. If anything. Yeah, I think, if I'm guessing, he probably sits out this week. I think we'll go with Bailey Zappi. So, I don't know. And the Browns got Miles Garrett back, so that's a big, a big issue for us, too. Um, and that's... Our biggest thing, we might have to play there, you know? Yeah, I mean, this is not going to be an easy stretch for the Patriots right now because looking at the schedule, after this game against the Browns, you have the Chicago Bears for Monday Night Football. And then I think you have the Jets before the bye, if I got that correct. Yeah, I think we got the Jets after the Bears. And honestly, the Jets started slow, but they look good since they got Zach Wilson back. I don't think we should take that game for granted at all. No. I, I just think that, you know, if Mac Jones comes back, he's going to come back after the bye, if anything, because then you have teams that are very top-notched that it's going to be hard for them just to, you know, get that momentum back. The Patriots are still finding their identity to this day. Oh, they are. They are. I mean, I saw some good things with Bailey Zappi. He played a smart game. But, I mean, let's be real. He didn't really do anything super super impressive you know I mean he didn't make any mistakes which is cool but I don't know once we get up against a team with a better defense than Detroit who is like almost dead last yeah. we're gonna need to be able to put some defense on the board so yeah they're like Detroit the Lions are like the number one scoring offense in the league but their defense is very suspect it is it's terrible and we still only managed one offensive touchdown against them and five field goals. So. I mean, that that's very concerning. We do have a good kicker, but you cannot rely on field goals too much. Now, with the running yeah. backs, with the running back situation, Damian Harris is out for a couple games due to the hamstring injury that he suffered this game. And Pierre Strong Jr. was not active in this game due to, uh, I think it was just a non-related injury for that game. It wasn't listed, but what does Bill Belichick do about the running back situation? You have one healthy running back right now. I mean, I think we'll I think we will see more from Pierre Strong. Um, he'll have to. He can't use Ramondre Stevenson every single play. That's a recipe for getting him hurt too, especially the way he just kind of plows through people. That puts him very much at risk. Yes, ma'am. Um, I think we also are going to, I mean, we're going to have to go, even if it's only short passes, we're going to have to use the pass at least some being down our running backs. We're not that deep on running backs, so 
they're gonna have to let him pass some, I think. Yeah, I think I think what it comes down to is just the fact of the matter being that, you know, the Patriots dynasty is kind of fitting away, but I think they can bring it back. It's just is Mac Jones gonna be the guy to do it, or do you think we should draft another QB in the future if Mac doesn't comply? I'd like to see him play more this year. He had a rough start, not going to lie. That was a rough three games. Um, if he can show improvement and start showing, you know, a lot better this season, then, you know, we can do whatever with that. But I would still always be keeping my eye out in the draft, you know, if we could steal one from somewhere or if somebody were to come available. I know some people mention Lamar Jackson, but I honestly don't see I, the I, Yeah, I just don't see him. Lamar Jackson going to New England. I mean, the only quarterback I see going to the Patriots <laughs> will be Bryce Young from Alabama Crimson Tide because, again, Mac Jones right. is a good QB, but Bryce, Bryce Young is like the QB that is the future, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, he has a higher ceiling, I think, for sure. Bryce Young is, wow. I mean, I've seen him play. He's pretty good. So, we're just going to have uh, to wait. Go ahead and play draft. Yeah, what are your keys to this game? How do the Patriots get a win at the dog pound? Uh, our offensive line is going to have to be really tough. Give whoever's playing quarterback time to throw. Um, we're going to have to try to keep Chubb in check. That's going to be hard because he's a really good player. Um, keep somebody on Amari Cooper, although he didn't practice today. They said he was resting, whatever that means. So that might um, be, he might be out for this game if they get lucky with putting him out there, putting him on the out list for this game. I mean, honestly, they have a few guys who did not practice today. Clowney did not practice today. Amari Cooper did not practice today. Um, Joel Batonio, they've got listed. He's a starter also. They've got him, did not practice. So, I mean, they're nursing some injuries, so that might or might not help us. I guess we'll know more on Sunday. But the biggest thing is defense, our offensive line has to step up, and we got to score. <laughs> we got to yeah. score, and we got to get some touchdowns. Yeah, we, we definitely got to score. Most definitely, we have to score. That, that's just barring on the situation that just has to happen. But we're going to have to see what happens. What is your final score on this game? Do you think the Patriots can win it? I do. I do. In fact, I picked the Patriots, and I pick them at 24-17. I got 23-10, to 10, so kind of around the same area. Okay. So, all right, everybody. She's Janet Dendy, J.D. Dendy in the place to be. I'm Patriot Dreams, PD in the place to be. We will see you.